Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how we can create a calculated column in our SharePoint document library or a list. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can create a calculated column. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center. So let's open the site column check. I have created one site for, you know, showing you how we can create a calculated column. So before we proceed to create a calculated column inside our document library, you can also create a calculated column in your list as well. So basically the calculated columns in the SharePoint Online are used to manipulate other columns in the list item or a document library item. So these fields value are automatically calculated based on the formula which we enter and calculated field will not appear on the new form or edit forms, but they are visible on view forms and SharePoint views. So friends, let's go to the site content. And here I have created one document library with the name of policies. Let's open it. So in this document library, I have given the name policies. I have few policies of uh, users. I have created few policies. These are insurance policy. So this column indicates the date of policy when it was issued. So basically now I want to add a calculated column which will automatically give us the date of expiration of these policies. So in our organization, these policies will be expired after 100 days. So I will click on add a column. And here you will see the single line of text, location, number, person, date and time. But on this list, you will not see the calculated column. You can go create a calculated column by clicking on more. However, you can also click on the gear icon and here you will see the library settings. You can click on it. Again, click on more library settings. And here you will navigate to the settings of document library. If you will scroll down a bit here, you will get an option of create a column. Click on it and now from here you can create a expiration date column. So for that I will just give it a name to my new column which is expiration of policy. Okay so I have given a name expiration of policy. Now we have number of type of information for this column like you want to add a single line of text, multiple line of text, choice column, number, currency, date and time, lookup, yes or no and the calculated. So we are going to create a calculated column. So let's select the radio button. It's mentioned over here like calculation based on the other columns. Now here, if you want to write any description about this column, you can write. If not, then I will simply select the date of policy issued. You can double click on this column to select it. However, you can simply select the column name and you can click on add to formula. Okay, so we have selected our column. Now, as I've told you my policy expiration of my organization date is after 100 days so minus and then i will enter 100 okay so we have implemented the formula now there is the type the data type returned from this formula like we have implemented a formula like what type of information or the item you want to return on this particular column so we will select date and time okay when you will select date and time it will ask the date and time format date only or date and time so we'll go with date only and if you want to add this a default view you can select this box or either you can uncheck it then we have a column formatting we will not go as of now on this and simply we'll click on ok all right let's go back to our document library okay friends so you can see expiration of policy date is now here so this minus 100 is this date okay so now i will create another column which will tell us whether you know the policy is expired or it's still valid. So let's do that. Okay friends so now let's create another column which will be also the calculated column. So now we'll click on more and and I will give it a name policy status. After giving the name to the column policy status we'll again select the calculated column. And here we'll apply the policy if let me type the formula for it. If let's start with the bracket date of policy is minus than expiration of policy is greater than 99 days enter the comma then 
policy will be valid otherwise policy will be expired so let me click on ok and here you can see because we have set the expiration of policy to 100 days and it's as of now it's less than 99 days so the policy status is valid now again if i'll click on gear icon i will go to library settings more library settings i will go to i will open the same column which is name which is the policy status and this time if i will make it to 100 instead of 99 and now let me click on ok let's go back to the policies now this time it will show policy expired so friends that's how you can create a calculated column and you can implement the formula as per your requirement on the list library even on the document library so friends that's how we can create a calculated column that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.